Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to my Valentine's a thon vlog. Yeah, I can see you making faces <laughs> in the back. So the Valentine's a thon started today. It is the 10th of February. It started at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which for me was 2 o'clock here in Central Time. And I actually started it and I had class. <laughs> um, and then after class, I brought up the live show, but I only watched it for 10 minutes as I was finishing up the laundry because then I had to go to work. Like, they started their first reading sprint and I was in the car driving to work as they were reading in silence. It was great. Suffice to say, it's 11 o'clock, I'm home from work, and I'm finally going to start reading for this readathon, and the first book that I'm going to read is Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, um, because it's the book that fulfills the prompt with pink on the cover, and it's it's short. I want to start with the two short Rachel Hawkins books before I move to the really big Lovely War, so I'm going to go ahead, sit down, and read this for a little bit before I go to bed. So it is actually the next day because I came home from work and I did some reading and then when I put the book down to go to bed I just was too tired to film so sorry about that but I got up to page 55 in Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins and I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping I can finish it today and then spend uh, all of tomorrow reading the other Rachel Hawkins books so I can say the last like two maybe even three days. Um, towards reading Lovely War because that's, I need it to fulfill my prompt, but at the same time I really want to read it, but it's pretty big and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to read it. So I'm hoping to do some more reading of this later on. I have a couple classes this afternoon and then I obviously have to do homework and then I do have to do another long shift at work. So the challenge for me is going to be finding the time to set aside to read that won't screw up my life. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this so far. I think the characters are interesting, um, definitely true to their age, I think. Um, I can also relate to the main character a little bit because she has this older sister who, you know, she doesn't really like see very often and there's quite a bit of an age gap between them and it's the same thing with me and my sister. We have a big age gap in between us and she moved away for college and so I kind of grew up with her slash not with her and so I think I really enjoy this book and I think it'll be a fast read it's just a matter of like sitting down and finding a time to read it for me um so I'm gonna get some homework done and then I'm gonna have class and then I'm gonna work and then hopefully I can read more of this either before class or after work and I will update you then when I have a new reading update hello good morning so it's the next day it is actually February 12th, and I did do quite a bit of reading. I read another 100 pages of Prince Charming, and so I'm halfway through. I'm at 150 pages, and oh my word, I love the main character. I love Daisy so much, because Daisy is who, at one point, I aspired to be, and at some times in my life, I still aspire to be. She is so, like, sarcastic and witty and will snap back if she doesn't like something, and I admire that, but at the same time, she's trying to understand where her sister is coming from with everything. Also, low-key Daisy's outfit here on the cover slightly inspired my own outfit. I have a very similar skirt that's in black, and then instead of a striped shirt, I went with a pink cardigan to kind of match the cover. Yeah, I did that. So, I have a very... I don't have a busy day, but at the same time, I have a busy day. I want to read the first chapter right now, and then I'm going to do some homework, and then maybe do some cleaning, and then see if I can do any more reading, and then I have uh, work in the late afternoon into the evening. 
So I really want to finish this book before I go to work so I can start the next book and get a good chunk into that. So I can finish it tomorrow and then start on Lovely War. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to You Should See Me in a Crown, which was going to be my other read that was... It wasn't going to fulfill a prompt that I already couldn't do. I just really wanted to read it. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll be able to read it within the readathon, but I will be reading it after I finish these three books. So, yeah. I'm also trying to find a time to film next Thursday's video because I'm really excited about it, but I'm filming it with a special guest. And so I got to coordinate that, which is going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, for now... It's morning, so I'm going to read a chapter, and I'm going to do some homework, hopefully do some cleaning, and get back to reading, so. Let me explain. When I got home from work last night, also oh, sorry the camera's shaking. When I got home from work last night at 11 o'clock, I was surprised with sugar cookies and a friend was over and so we watched WandaVision and just had a chill night. Yeah, like it was, it was, it was so much fun. Um, but so now it is Saturday, sorry if you can hear my neighbor's music, it's Saturday like 12.30 in the afternoon. And so I woke up and I went to work and now I'm back and I've showered and so sad news I am still working on Prince Charming but I have a plan so I am over halfway I'm like two-thirds of the way through because this book is so addicting I like it a lot I love the main character because she is like witty she'll snap back she's got she's She's got such a thick, unique personality. Like, I feel a lot of times I struggle with the protagonist because I feel like so much of them gets washed out within the narration of the story that it's really hard to just see them as a human being or as a character. But with her and, like, the things she thinks and how she communicates and just... She's so thick in who she is that it makes it such a fun character to read from the perspective of. And so I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. And then also her sister, so is seven years older than her. So she briefly touches on the hardships of having a sibling that's a lot older than you. And I could relate to that so much because both of my siblings, on average, the two of them are 10 years older than me. So I could very much relate to the fact of, oh, I have this older sibling who, you know, I don't really know that much about other than what I hear from them because they're not in the house anymore, like they're adults, they have their own lives. So that was also really fun for me to read. And so today my plan is I have one school thing that I have to get done and then I can spend the rest of the day reading. So I have a paper that I have to write by tonight. So I'm gonna do that, but then I am going to finish this book. And honestly, I might finish this book before I do my paper, we'll see. So I'm gonna finish the book, I'm gonna work on my paper, I'm gonna start uh, Royals? Is that what it's called? No, Her Royal Highness. I'm going to start Her Royal Highness. I would love to finish it today because it is the same size as this one that I'm reading, Prince Charming. So if the main character is like just as fun or interesting as the character in this book or, you know, if it's as good of a read or as fast as a read as this one is, I think I could finish it today if not early tomorrow. 
Um, which would then give me two days to read Lovely War, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, but I'm certainly going to try. Um, so that's my plan for today. Also, low-key, I planned my outfit to be, like, what she's wearing on the cover, because she's got, like, a striped shirt and a, like, textured skirt like this. So, in honor of, I am going to finish this book today, I kind of dress like the main character. So, I'll update with you guys later when I finished the book. Okay, yeah. Hello. It is Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's the early evening of Valentine's Day, and I haven't, I didn't, I specifically didn't really record a lot of things earlier today because I... We had kind of all day plans, me and my husband, and so um, that's just what we've been doing. We've been having really good Valentine's Day, but reading wise, so yesterday I did the sprint with the hosts of uh, Valentine's Day, we did the Valentine's of Thon, and it was a lot of fun because during the reading sprints that we did, I finished Prince Charming. <gasps> my goodness, so good. So good. I loved it. I rated it 4.5 stars. I also have started using the story graph as well alongside Goodreads until I decide if I want to do a complete switchover or not. So on Goodreads, I believe it's 4 stars. On the story graph, it's 4.5 because it was so good. So I loved the main character. She, Her personality was so strong, so much fun. Um, I loved how she talked with her sister, um, of just, you know, how their lives are different, but then how they have, they have an age gap, which was very interesting to, like, read about, especially as someone coming from also an age gap between siblings, and just the romance was really cute. It was, it was very interesting because it was, like, half enemies to lovers and half, like, fake dating to real dating. And, like, I was squealing at the ending. I was, like, making noises. I was, I was, oh, last few chapters just got me. Like, literally the last chapter, the last five pages, I was, like, oh. So, needless to say, I've moved on to my second book. So, I finished the first book. And so, that finished the Team Pink's prompt of read a book with pink on the cover. And it also is a fluffy contemporary, and I think it does fit some other prompts, but I don't remember. But, so my next one is Her Royal Highness. This is also by Rachel Hawkins. And it's interesting because this is a companion novel, and basically what it, it... It takes place a couple months after Prince Charming, but it's a companion novel, so you don't, like, need to read it. Sorry about the angle changes and sliding and whatnot, but this... It's about a girl who she she goes to school in Scotland after going through a breakup not breakup and she ends up being the roommate to Princess Flora the Princess of Scotland who is mentioned in Prince Charming and uh, I believe it's an enemies to lover and it's LGBTQIA plus and it's so cute the main character is bi too like it's not just like oh she's gay but it's that she's bi and I feel like I just there goes the camera again. I haven't read a lot of books where, I haven't read a lot of books where the character is just, where it is bi. Like, it's always, like, gay or straight or, and I mean, those are great. Don't get me wrong. Those are amazing. But it's cool to see some bi rep, too. Anyway, so I am 100 pages into it. I am loving it. I'm zipping through it. I'm worried I won't get to finish Lovely War on time. So I might honestly read You Should See Me in a Crown. But the thing is, is like if I do read You Should See Me in a Crown instead of Lovely War, I'm not going to finish all the prompts for my team. But I might finish three books at least, so we'll see. For sure I'm going to read both of them soon. But I'm just going to try and finish this book for today. Hopefully start Lovely War. But we'll see. We still have more Valentine's Day plans to go yet today, so we shall see. Hello. So, it's definitely not almost four o'clock on the day of the 15th, aka the last day of the readathon. Definitely not, except that it is. So obviously I have some catching up to do with you guys. I did not film a lot at the end of the readathon, or at least near as much as I did at the beginning of the readathon, and I'm sorry for that, but you know, Valentine's Day, 
I had a nice day. I just kind of spent all day with my husband, and it was really nice, but not a lot to, like, film. But I did actually do quite a bit of reading. Um, so I did do some reading. I just didn't vlog it as much as I was hoping to, so I'm just going to quick give a little wrap-up of the books that I read and um, talk about them just a little bit. So, as you know, the first book that I finished was Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. I rated this four and a half stars. I loved it. There was only one little thing here or there that I didn't like or missed, but all in all, like, it was just such a short, fun, fluffy little read that I just, I loved. I would recommend it. It's both enemies to lovers and fake dating uh, to real dating, so... So this is something that I definitely would recommend as someone who doesn't read a lot of contemporary romance. I enjoyed this. I really did. Then the second book that I finished was actually Her Royal Highness. I know I did not update you guys saying that I did finish it, but I did. I stayed up late and read this and finished it. And I love this. So this is like a companion novel to Prince Charming. I recommend reading Prince Charming first. But you don't necessarily have to because this takes place a couple months after prince charming does but if you don't read prince charming like obviously they explain the things in the first one a little bit so that you're not lost when you read this story so i i also really like this one this follows princess flora rather than uh well i guess princess flora who is another member of the royal family but it's about the american girl who goes to scotland for school and ends up being roommates with princess flora again it's an enemies to lovers and it's so cute so i also highly recommend reading this one even like right after like reading these together also just so that you're aware these are such a slow burn not like that slow because obviously they're really small but like you spend the first half of the book at least the first half of them not liking each other or just kind of setting up and then it's got such a quick ending like the real big twisting point in the climax is within like the second or third to last chapter and then the last chapter is that resolution which i those are the kind of books i enjoy where it's like every page and word is important all the way until the end because that's where the excitement is. To get there is a little bit slower, but they're not very long, so it wasn't a problem. And then, the last book that I read was on this TBR. It's huge, but it was a breeze. But not, not like really. So I, <laughs> Lovely War, <laughs> but Julie Berry. Yeah, so I have no footage of me reading this because again, I stayed up really late reading in my pajamas and then I dedicated like a large chunk of the night and this morning just sitting here reading I was like I don't have time to film and figure things out because I just need to finish this book before I attended the live show which I am still technically currently attending but it's kind of right at the end and so this one this one also I rated um her royal highness four stars because there are a few things with the characters that kind of annoyed me just a little bit more than Prince Charming did but still solid book anyway I am still this one's a tearjerker <laughs> this one I love the gods oh my gosh so this is a love story and it's narrated by the gods and I'm, I'm not ready to talk about it yet I'm, I'm gonna be honest I haven't given it a rating yet I know I loved it but <sighs> The, I will say, I'm not one for battle scenes a lot, um, so those were kind of hard for me to sit there and th read through, but like pretty much everything else. I will give a more in-depth review of most likely all of these books, but this one for sure, when I just when I have my thoughts a little more together. So, it's an emotional roller coaster, and just read it if you like historical fiction and romance and historical romance and all that jazz, so... I finished my three books for this readathon. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I finished my three books for this readathon and I finished all the prompts for my team and a lot of other prompts. So that was really, really, really fun. I'm so excited to do it next year. Hopefully next year is gonna be a little longer and have more prompts and more time. So yeah, I am super excited. That's gonna be pretty much the end of this vlog. Um, it's not my most exciting vlog. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, that's just, that's how it is. So, yeah. 
my brain is a little bit mush from all that like reading and lack of sleeping but it's so worth it it's so worth it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you've read any of these books down below or if you want to read them comment them down below otherwise if you have any other suggestions book recommendations also comment them down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you want more vlogs or just more romance I don't read a lot of romance or contemporary, but that doesn't mean I'm going to close the door on them, obviously. Um, otherwise, subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every Thursday with the occasional bonus video on Sundays if I feel creative or have a lot of ideas. So click subscribe, hit the bell for that so when you're notified for both my weekly uploads and my Sunday bonus videos that happen on occasion. But until the next video, I wish you all a happy reading.